Exactly. So, you know, you, you've been tracking and, and watching the foreclosure market for many, many years. In today's market, what is your best way or your favorite way to actually reach out to these people that are either behind on payments or in foreclosure to communicate with them, to offer a solution to their problem? Well, I think one of the easiest things for, especially for a new real estate investor is to um, get online at the county courthouse. The, the county courthouse shows all the people that are in foreclosure. And I understand there's like a moratorium on actually foreclosing on people, but that doesn't mean people aren't getting placed into the foreclosure process. So you can find online, uh, not online at the courthouse, you can find all the foreclosures, the people going through divorce, the people filing bankruptcy, uh, the probates. You can find all of those people online and it's free. So for someone that's new, doesn't have a lot of money, doesn't have a lot of experience, you know, free is always, free is always great. <laughs> free is great. But what's happening is a lot of people are literally just moving out of their houses and they're moving back with family and families are starting to live together again. And people are just walking away because they're not going to be able to catch back up. So that's going to cause two things. It's going to cause short sales to go crazy again. There's the banks are going to have a kajillion houses sitting there that with people that are in foreclosure and it's going to cause the bank to do loan modifications, uh, which is where the bank, runs your credit, checks if you have income, you know, make sure you have a job and all that. And then they, they may take the payments and put them on the back and, you know, get you back on track. But you have to qualify for that. So if you're still on unemployment and you, or you're making less or part-time, you're not going to qualify. So that's going to put people in a situation of being in a forbearance or in foreclosure or just walking. So I'm telling real estate investors, the top two things, I feel is subject twos and short sales.